Hello everybody, my name is William and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video where today I would like to give you guys a guide on how to get crafting materials quickly so that way you can go ahead and get yourself like an end game mask such as the gummy mask, diamond mask, or demon mask, or maybe any of the mid game masks like the honey bubble, the fire mask, either, either of those, or maybe you just want to craft the cobalt crimson guard, gummy boots, pedal belt, or whatever. Any craftable item will be able to be sped ran through this video. You can pretty much speed run getting items. So the first way to get crafting ingredients to get craftable items quickly is by using sprouts. And okay, before I start explaining that, I'm going to quickly tell you what a craftable is and what ingredients are. So a red extract would be a craftable because you can craft it using like ingredients such as 50 strawberries and 10 royal jelly. So a craftable is just any consumable item that's made out of other items. So let's say red extract, blue extract, glitter, glue, oil, enzymes, tropical drink, super smoothie, whatever. Those are all craftable. And then you have, where is it? Um, sunflower seed, strawberry, pineapple, blueberry. Those, all four of those are crafting ingredients. So there's a big difference between craftable and crafting ingredients. Oh, hey, Wellow's here. Hello, Wellow. How are you? I'm recording right now. Say hi. Happy face. Aha! Now we have Wellow in the video. Hello. Very cool. YouTube, sub to him right now. Or no cookies. Yes! XD. Oh, man. We all love cookies. Well, I love cookies. Not sure if you guys like cookies. Leave a comment below if you guys like cookies. All right, I'm getting distracted. All right, so the first thing on the list of things that you can do to get crafting ingredients quickly is by using sprouts. And now how sprouts work is you go to a specific color field, like a red field, a white field, or a blue field. And a white field here will give you treats and sunflower seeds. Well, not all white fields, just sunflower field will. That'll give you the most sunflower seeds. So if you're going for sunflower seeds, the fastest way to get them is by going to the sunflower field, of course. But if you're trying to get strawberries quickly, I suggest either going to the strawberry field or the pepper patch. The pepper patch will give them most, but the strawberry field will give the second most, I believe. And if you're going for blueberries, of course, I just highly suggest using the stump field because the stump field, well, it depends if you have your stump snail taken down or not, because the stump field is a blue field and will give you a lot of blueberries. Also, it's really small and compact. So that way, all of your blueberries will be like really close together and you don't have to scurry around to get them. So like sprouts will give you crafting ingredients. So let's go ahead and use one right here inside of the strawberry field. See, it's given us a ton of strawberries, of course, because it is the strawberry field. And we can use these strawberries to craft ourselves a red extract. So we run around, collect all of these. It, of course, gives us some treats and some sunflower seeds, but it doesn't give us as many sunflower seeds as the sunflower field would. So be sure, if you're going for sunflower seeds, use a, uh, use a sprout inside of the sunflower field. So, like, right now, I'm going to quickly use a sprout in the sunflower field and get myself some sunflower seeds. So that way I can craft oil or, like, gift a, um, a vector bee. But if you want to get gifted bees, click the top right-hand corner right here to get a tutorial on how to get gifted bees fast. But before you do that, watch the end of this video so you can know how to get items fast, or my bad, craftables. So the first way is sprouts. Another good way to get crafting materials quickly is doing windy bees. And now a windy bee is summoned by the wind shrine. So let me go ahead quickly get the demon mask on because we have to fight the windy bee. It's like a mini boss in this game. I'm actually gonna quickly put my vicious bee in my hive before we do. And eh, does vicious bee really do anything to windy bee? I guess it kind of does. So yeah, I'll go for a vicious bee. All right, so we can summon a windy bee most of the time by using a star jelly. So let's go ahead, donate a star jelly real quick, and we will get ourselves a windy bee. So it's in one of the fields here. They're like, it's like a little cloud with a windy bee inside of it. So here it is in the mountaintop field here. See how there's a windy bee inside of this cloud right here? That's how you know if this is a, a spawnable windy bee. So we wait for our bees to get here. Now that all of our windy bees, or not, no, sorry. Now that all of our bees are here, we can go ahead and spawn the windy bee just like that. And once we fight the windy bee, we'll move on to the next field and it's randomized. So that way you can get more items after that. So this Windy Bee right here is about to drop me a ton of items. See this? Look at all this. A bunch of items such as tickets and uh, some, you know, sunflower seeds. This is a good way to get sunflower seeds, honestly. Sometimes it does give you craftables such as like glues, glitters, star jellies, actually oil, um, I believe enzymes sometimes. It also gives you royal jellies, which is really useful. So overall, definitely the Windy Bee is a really good way to get sunflower seeds and crafted items already, such as just specifically craftables. Oh wow, this one gave us a ton of loot, like a magic bean and it gave us a glitter right here all right now that we have defeated the windy bee the windy bee why is my cursor stuck oh there we go okay that was weird all right well the windy bee has fled and we got a load of cool items we got a field dice actually which is pretty good as you can tell i've been using a lot of my materials apart from oil and enzymes i don't know why but i have so many of these two but i have been using a lot of these to craft super smoothies for boosting i actually want to do a boost tomorrow so yeah that's completely random okay yt you must sub he needs 100k okay bye let's get to 20k 
yes, 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 please. Let's get to 20,000 subscribers. That would be amazing. All right, so that leads us on to our, well, it doesn't really lead us to that. And so the next way to get materials quickly is by defeating your mobs. Hold on, let me just, well, actually, I'll keep the demon mask on for this. All right, now what a mob is, is like a little bug, like literally bugs in this game is literally bugs, like this ladybug right here. So we can defeat this ladybug and it will drop me a strawberry. So we can go ahead, collect that strawberry. And then we have the spider. Uh, it's gonna respawn, okay. All right, let's get some more of these. Oh, did I defeat every single bug? Jeez Louise. Okay, here we go. We got rhino beetles now. Rhino beetle, my bad. Rhino beetles will drop us blueberries. So we can go ahead and use these blueberries to craft blue extracts. And actually, sometimes they do just drop blue extracts, which is really nice. But you gotta get pretty lucky with that. Oh, it dropped a gumdrop this time. Nice. But yeah, just running around here and killing all your mobs will be able to get you some really good items, such as blueberries, strawberries, sometimes eggs, actually. You can get silver eggs from like mantises and stuff. And mantises can drop oil, glitter, or enzymes, but that mantis is respawning. All right, so let's take down this rhino beetle. Another mob that you should be taking down are your bosses. And now what your bosses are are stuff like the king beetle, which is found right in here. My king beetle is respawning, but my king beetle will go ahead and give me a ton of craftables and crafting ingredients. And also sometimes it gives you a king beetle amulet, which will boost some of your fields and give you bee attack and stuff. It doesn't give you bee attack every time though. Another boss you can take down is the tunnel bear, which is in here. Tunnel Bear will give you a load of craftables and crafting ingredients and some tickets as well. Speaking of tickets, if you want to get tickets fast in the top right hand corner, there is now a card that will take you to my video on how to get tickets fast. But yeah, just going around killing all your mobs and all that, using sprouts and stuff. Also, questing will get you a load of stuff, so that's just an extra little thing. See, I got glitter from this quest already, so be sure you're doing your quest. So that's about it for today's video. I hope this helps. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to go to the links in the description and purchase our versatile vector set. The entire set the shirt and the pants combined is 10 robux so it's pretty cheap go ahead and buy those in the links in the description and i will see you all in the next video goodbye